Landing pages are the holy grail when it comes to lead generation. They're insanely useful for capturing email addresses, getting people to sign up for your newsletter, and increasing your site's visibility. But there are so many different types of landing pages that it can be hard to know which ones you should be using. In this video, we share several types of landing pages guaranteed to increase your site's conversion rate. This video is brought to you by Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. There are many different types of landing pages you can create with different goals and purposes. Knowing which landing page design to use for your digital marketing campaigns is tricky. Let's take a look at the most common types of landing pages and when to use them for your business. And first up on the list we have squeeze pages and these are excellent landing pages for growing your email list because their focus is to collect email addresses from visitors. After capturing the address you can nurture those videos with relevant content and other offers. The most popular squeeze pages offer an incentive for users to enter their contact information like newsletters, ebooks, white papers, or even free trials. By giving users something in return for handing over their email, you build trust and offer people value, which is great for building long-lasting customer relationships. When putting your squeeze page together, keep your design simple and easy to use. Your call to action buttons should be tempting enough for people to click and clear enough for mobile users to spot. Number two are splash pages, and in contrast, a splash page isn't always about capturing leads. You can use splash pages to offer more information to users before they head to the content you want them to see. For example, when users click a social media link, you can show an intermediary page to verify their age before sending them to a link's destination. Or your splash page might show an ad that you earn revenue from when people click the link. You can also use splash pages to promote your social media profiles, tell visitors your new website is coming soon, show a maintenance notice, or maybe even ask users to set their language preferences. To put it simply, a splash welcomes users to your website with familiar branding and shows users users an ad or message that benefits your business. Number three are lead capture pages. And these are a lot like squeeze pages, but where they differ is instead of collecting only email addresses, they generally ask for more information from potential leads. So as an example, your lead capture might collect the name, business name, job title, phone number, and maybe what industry they work in. But the information you collect largely depends on your marketing goals and where that user is in your sales funnel. For instance, if your lead capture page is at the top of your sales funnel, you don't want to hit prospects with a form that asks for their life story. Instead, use a short form that asks for minimal information. But if someone lands on your page after showing interest in your product or service, maybe they already downloaded a few case studies, it's easier to ask them for more information to qualify them as a lead. Number four are click-through landing pages. Before asking visitors for money, it's important to offer them real value you don't want to hit people with a buy now button before they're ready. This is what a click-through landing page is. It offers value to your audience by sharing the benefits and features of your product or service without pushing them to purchase. The call to action button on this type of landing page often takes users to a second landing page that provides pricing details or information on signing up for a free trial. When users land on that page, they're fully educated on why they should move forward. Number five are long form sales landing pages. And these sales pages are often longer than other types of landing pages. They're used to answer all the questions potential customers might have about your business and address any objections they have for choosing you over your competitors. By the time users scroll to the bottom of your page, they'll know all the benefits they'll get by making a purchase. A sales landing page has plenty of detail without the minimalism of a squeeze page. This is because your goal for the page is to close business. Number six are coming soon landing pages. If you're launching a new website, website or product but you're not ready to reveal the full offer, a coming soon page is an excellent type of landing page to use. These kind of pages allow you to display a placeholder page on your site with a friendly notice saying you're launching soon. You can use a coming soon page to tease your new product, website, or offer. You can also ask visitors to sign up with their email address in exchange for an email notification when you go live. Number seven are 404 landing pages, and no one likes facing a 404 error, and your visitors will inevitably face them from time to time. But when they do, it's important to make them as helpful as possible to keep people on your website. Humor is an excellent way to offset the discomfort of the error, so get creative with your 404 page message and design. You should also offer ways for people to get back to your website by showing a link to your homepage or other pages. Your 404 page doesn't have to just sit there waiting either. Put it to work and use it as a lead generation tool. You could offer users a free demo, showcase featured products, or even send people to relevant articles. Number eight, we have thank you landing pages. And a thank you page is an excellent way to thank users for joining your list, downloading a freebie, or buying a product. But too often marketers don't use this type of page for anything else. Because the people that visit your thank you page are already motivated and interested in your brand, you can use this page to offer more value. For example, you could invite users to enter a giveaway, browse recommended products, follow your social media profiles, refer other people to your business, or maybe leave a product review. 
You can even use a thank you page to provide an extra offer to users based on their last action. Number nine are event landing pages. And similar to lead capture pages, event landing pages are web pages that convert visitors into event attendees. Sometimes this type of landing is called an event registration landing page because the goal is to convince users to register for the event. The type of event your landing page promotes could be a webinar, conference, seminar, or maybe an on-demand event. Every event landing page has several things in common. First, they include the event details like the time time, date, and location. They also include details about who is speaking at the event and event sponsors. Above all, your event landing page should have a short registration form where users can register interests and where you can collect leads. Number 10 are login landing pages. And a login page is another type of landing page that most internet users are familiar with. It's a web page that requires users to enter a username or email address and a password to log into a website. Many businesses have a simple login page that only includes a login form. But what you might not know is you can use this place to offer more value to users. For example, next to the login form is an area introducing users to a new WP Forms feature and a button to learn more. Since many people might not know about this update, it's a great way to let them know in a place W Forms know they'll visit. And lastly, number 11 are pricing landing pages. Your pricing page should be the most heavily optimized page on your entire website. It's here that people come to make decisions about whether they should buy your product or service. Take this pricing page from Seedprod. It clearly outlines the four tiered packages with links to more information or to get started. Directly after the pricing table is a money back guarantee that reassures users with an unconditional refund if Seedprod isn't the best fit. What we love about this pricing page are the three boxes right after the guarantee with testimonials from satisfied users. And towards the end of the page is the FAQ section addressing common questions before users even have to ask them. With all of the above, users can have their fears and objections addressed and see the benefits of signing up. Now that we've gone over 11 types of landing pages guaranteed to convert, it's time for you to create your own. Check out this video that may be helpful on how to create a simple landing page in WordPress. The video will walk you through step by step easily how to create your own landing pages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.